Happy greetings, everyone. I'm Crystal Foreman, the owner and educator of Holistic Wellness and Health, where we make healthy living easy, nutritious, delicious, and fun. With a focus on plant-based foods and medication, help you live a healthier, compassionate, and more vibrant life. Today, we're making our winter squash pancakes. You can use any type of winter squash for this, these pancakes, and it's absolutely delicious. So today we're going to use something called a cheese pumpkin. A cheese pumpkin looks a lot like a regular pumpkin, but it's a little lighter in color, um, the orange color. And I've already roasted it, so you're going to let it bake. So you're just going to get it soft enough to be able to scoop, to make like a puree for your pancakes. So if you're watching this with me live or in the replay, say hello. Let me know you are here um, and that you've watched as well. And we're going to get started. So you can really use any winter squash. This is actually a white acorn squash. So you can use this as well or butternut squash. For this recipe, we're using two thirds cup of our cheese pumpkin here. And I've already started kind of like making it into a puree. And to this. We're going to add in two cups of plant-based milk. Today I am using soy milk, but you can use almond milk or any milk that you want to use. I'm just going to mix our wet ingredients together all the way through. The recipe for this is on the website at holistic-wellnessandhealth.com forward slash blog. Now we're going to mix our dry ingredients. So for this, we have one cup of flour. You can use whole wheat flour, gluten-free flour, or um, unbleached wheat flour. I'm using the unbleached wheat flour today, but I have made this with um, whole wheat flour as well. So totally up to you, but you can easily make this gluten-free with oat flour as well. All of that works. So one cup. Then we're going to add in one tablespoon of our ground flaxseed. And to the rest of our dry ingredients, we're going to add in one teaspoon of our cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of ginger powder, and one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. So that's going to give it a nice like, spice to it, a lot of spices. We're going to whisk our dry ingredients. Let's make sure it's well blended. Mix all the ingredients together. If you have any questions, you can definitely ask. Um, if you're watching this later, just tag me or Holistic Wellness to help to make sure I see the comments and I can respond to any questions. So now we're going to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. If you want it super smooth, you can actually blend it. I did that um, the other day, just blended the puree with the milk, and then I added it to my dry ingredients. I noticed when I use the whole wheat flour, it's um, pancakes about thicker. So baking powder will help make these pancakes go fluffier and rise. I'm just going to mix it well. feel like it's too wet, you can add a little more flour. If you feel like it's a little too dry, you can add a little more milk. I'm actually feeling like this is a little wetter than I want. Let me go and just whisk it. You'll see it bubbling up, and that's the um, baking powder in it. So for this month, we've been focusing on butternut squash the whole month. So every Friday for our lava class, we've been using some type of winter squash um, or butternut squash, which is also winter squash during this time. And there's also National Hot Breakfast Month. Hi, Ms. Adrian. Good to see you here. Happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday to you. Yeah, so I um, decided to combine the two things that we've been working on, so butter or the winter squash plus hot breakfast. 
So that's why we are doing this to close out the month of February. And just move this a little more. So I already have my um, skillet pretty warm here. I'm actually going to turn this to low because you don't want it too hot. You don't want your skillet too hot, or you'll have your pancakes really like cooked on the outside and not so done on the inside. I do feel like I need to add to this. I do. Give me one moment, you all. I'm going to add just a little more flour. This dry ingredients and not weighing it like they do in other countries is that it's not always going to be exact. That's looking like. If you want really thick pancakes, you can use a really thick batter, but I don't want them to be such a thick. Does anyone have any questions? As we're going along. So with this, we're going to also serve some um, breakfast sausage patties. So I love to have breakfast type food for dinner. So that's what we're doing today. And we're going to measure out about a fourth of a cup for our pancakes. This is going to be a little chunkier because I didn't um, blend the squash. We're just going to put it right on our skillet there. So uh, butternut squash is funny with this recipe. A lot of vitamin A, our beta carotene that helps us with our skin, as well as our vision, especially night vision. And also um, the butternut squash, the winter squashes are very high in iron, which is very important, as well as um, zinc, which is important for our blood, as well as our immune system. So, does anyone have any questions or comments? One of the things I love about this recipe while you all type away um, is that you can sneak recipe like ingredients in. If you really have a picky like, eater in your family, you can get a lot of nutrients in their meal. Just by putting it in like breads, muffins, um, pancakes. So, let's see how this is doing. So you kind of want to look at the edge and see that that's getting done. And I can flip it. I'm gonna let it get a little brown on the other side while that is cooking. You can start cooking our plant-based sausage. So for those, these are actually pretty high in protein. So I haven't had them yet. Gardein, everything from Gardein is vegan. Um, unlike some other brands out there, so you can shop confidently. Sometimes things say plant-based. Plant-based does not always equal vegan. So just um, if you are trying to be vegan, just check to make sure they haven't put any dairy or eggs in it because sometimes you see things that say plant-based and it's not what you think it is. So for my Plant-based and vegan allies out there who are not necessarily vegan, but you all have vegan loved ones in your family. When you're buying products for them, just make sure it's actually vegan um, so that they can enjoy um, what you bought. Because it's like, I know that people are coming with good intentions and they don't always read everything. And they don't know what to look for. So if you're buying something for a cookout, a party, anything like that, you buy Gardein, you're going to be safe. If you buy some other brands like Morningstar, some of their products are not vegan. Um, they might say plant-based. Just something to look out for. Tip. So I'm making this um, for my family. My father and I love breakfast food, so um, this will be a nice treat for us. I'm just going to flip this. And I did oil the pan with. Um, grapeseed oil today. <laughs> Last time I'll test out recipes. Um, and I did originally test this with coconut oil, which um, and I use unrefined so to get the coconut flavor, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful, browning nicely. So let me let you all get a close up. 
of this. I think you all can see. Uh, the middle one is nice and golden. So once you flip it, it doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take a whole lot of time for the pancakes to get done. And there we go. So we'll do this with the rest of the batter. See that there? Yeah. So this is a great way to get a lot of veggies into your diet um, in ways that we don't always think about. Um, so we're going to continue that our batter. I'm going to add a little more oil to our pan. I mean, if you are watching, this definitely gives us, give us some love, thumbs up, um, all the good things that helps the algorithm and others to be able to see this video as well. But um, this, this recipe will make about 12 pancakes. So if you make more than you need, before the batter will keep in the refrigerator for about two to three days, but I like to just cook them all up and then you can freeze them. And these will keep in the freezer for about two, three months. I've never actually let them sit that long. Um, they're usually gone within a week. So um, totally up to you, but if you like to meal prep ahead of time, you can do that. Another cool thing is that if you make them a little bigger, you can actually stuff them um, with different things and roll it up and take that for lunch. So pancakes do not need to just be for breakfast. They can be a fun treat for lunch or dinner, which is what it's going to be tonight. So just them. All right. So does anyone have any questions before I continue to make more pancakes here? So once again, thank you all so much for joining me. This is rounding out our month of winter squash plus our um, breakfast. So make sure you are checking out the YouTube channel. I am adding new videos regularly. Um, let us know about it as well. And I will see you all next time. Peace and blessings. Everyone stay safe. And I'll see you soon. Yeah. Oh, I see um, Corey says, thank you so much. Pancakes for dinner are the best. I agree with you totally. <laughs> yes. Thanks for checking in, Corey.